What's up guys, Jacob Ober here. Welcome to my first ever Packers game preview and in the first installment of this series I'll be previewing the week one matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. By the way, expect these videos the day prior to a Packers game, so if they play on a Sunday, I'll do one on a Saturday. If they play on a Thursday, I'll do it on a Wednesday, and if they play on a Monday, I'll do it on a Sunday. So, the Packers come into this Bears game uh, as an 8-point favorite, although the Bears have been a very sexy upset pick for many people this week. Uh, the Bears obviously added Khalil Mack just a week or two ago. They added Allen Robinson on the offensive end as a wide receiver who was coming off of a torn ACL. They have a very young uh, and talented group of core players that will only get better over time. However, the Bears coming into Lambeau Field in the first week of this 2018 NFL season is going to be a big challenge for them. And Mitchell Trubisky, as much potential as he has, is still a second-year quarterback making his first ever start at Lambeau Field and under the lights for that matter. It is a Sunday night football game. This is going to be a tough game for the Bears to pull an upset in. A lot of people are saying that it's that the Bears are going to come in and beat the Packers. Uh, let's take a step back before we say anything crazy like that. Now, I'm a Packers fan. Obviously, this is a Packers channel. But the Bears, even though they have Khalil Mack, even though they have all this talent defensively and on the offensive end as well, they're just not ready yet. And I don't think that they're going to be ready for at least another season or so. Uh, the Bears obviously added plenty of talent this offseason. They're obviously a lot better of a team than they were last year when they lost at their own stadium to Brett Hundley in this Packers team, which was really bad last year, by the way. Uh, but they're just not there yet. And Aaron Rodgers at home is just so on such a different level. And for the Bears to come in and beat the Packers at home in the first game of the 100 season, I, I just don't see it. Now, of course, Bears fans might go back to that 2015 game on Thanksgiving night, the Brett Favre night where they retired Favre's number, the Bears came in and upset the Packers. Uh, this isn't the same scenario as that because the Bears, as, ba as bad as Jay Cutler has been, he was still a guy who had a lot of experience coming to Lambeau Field, although he lost a lot. Of course, the weather conditions that night were not very favorable. It was raining all night. The Packers were in the middle of a very rough stretch for their team. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was not playing the way that we remember Aaron Rodgers to play. This is an entirely new slate for almost both teams. This is The Packers went out this offseason and also added a lot of talent. They added Tremont Williams, they added Muhammad Wilkerson, they added two rookie corners who have really impressed in the preseason and training camp. Those don't exactly offset what the Bears did, but there's a lot more experience, especially on the offensive end for the Packers this time around. Of course, adding Jimmy Graham as well on the offensive end, one of the best touchdown catching tight ends in the league. I just can't see the Bears coming into Lambeau Field and beating the Packers. Uh, of course, it may be a competitive game, though. The Bears are certainly a talented team, but Mitchell Trubisky, unlike Jay Cutler, did not have a lot, does not have a lot of experience. Now, that's not saying that Jay Cutler is going to be better than Mitchell Trubisky. Jay Cutler, I, I fully expect Mitchell Trubisky to be a better quarterback than Jay Cutler, but Mitchell Trubisky is entering his second season, and this is his first time ever starting at Lambeau Field. And he hasn't exactly proven himself to be the kind of quarterback that he's been hyped up to be. Now, of course, he has plenty of the potential, and he showed a lot of it last season. But this is still a guy who threw just as many touchdowns as interceptions last year at a 77.5 quarterback rating. He's just not there yet, and he's not ready to take this Bears team into Lambeau Field and upset the Packers. That's just my opinion, though. I think that it's going to be a pretty good game for sure, and I think Mitchell Trubisky is going to put himself together a very good season this year, but I just don't see him winning the quarterback battle between him and Aaron Rodgers because ultimately that's what a lot of these kinds of matchups boil down to. If your quarterback can play better than Aaron Rodgers, then you're probably going to win. I don't think Mitchell Trubisky is going to be playing better than Aaron Rodgers is going to at home against a team that he has dominated his entire career at Lambeau Field. So, anyways, guys, though, that's all I really have to say. My final prediction for the game, uh, the final score prediction, I'm going to say the Packers win at 28-20. to 20. Uh, The Bears' defense will hold them under 30 points, but the Packers' offense will score enough points, and the defense will hold Mitchell Trubisky's Bears to just 20 points, and the Packers will come away with a Week 1 victory. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.